if your Flutter web website is currently laggy, then you might be thinking on how to optimize it. Well, Flutter has tweeted recently that you're able to choose web renderers for your Flutter web projects. They are HTML and Canvas Kit. So this information was shared in advance in the Sliver newsletter, a Flutter weekly newsletter where I have shared that Flutter Web Auto Detect can be set to true so that you're able to use Skia or Canvas Kit in your Flutter Web. If you want to know more, the link in the description. So before I show you how you can choose your web renderer, you have to know the difference between the two web renderers, HTML versus Canvas Kit. So let's start with HTML. So HTML renderer will use a combination of, you guessed it, HTML elements, CSS, Canvas elements, and SVG elements. So you guys know what's HTML and CSS, the basic building blocks of a website. So what are Canvas and SVG? So Canvas elements are used to draw graphics on a web page, like the painter class in Flutter. And for SVG, it's also used to draw graphics on a web page. So is there any difference? Yes, there is. So the difference between Canvas and SVG is that Canvas used JavaScript to draw the graphics. And SVG is a language to describe 2D graphics in XML or Extensible Markup Language. Therefore, HTML renderer uses basic elements which will then have a smaller download size that allows us to have a faster loading time. Now we know what's HTML, let's go to Canvas Kit. For Canvas Kit, you are going to use Skia, which is then compiled to WebAssembly and then it will be rendered in WebGL. So I'm going to explain these three different technologies. So the first one is Skia. So Skia, as you guys know, is a graphics engine for Flutter, Google Chrome, Firefox browser, and many more. Then this will be converted to WebAssembly, which is a binary that allows us to run in a web browser at fast speed. Then with WebAssembly binary, it will be rendered to WebGL or Graphics Library, which is a JavaScript API for rendering interactive 2D and 3D graphics. This will mean that it will give you a faster performance than HTML and it will have very similar performance across the browsers. However, this means that it will add 2 megabytes in download size, which also gives a additional 8 seconds of loading time. So this 8 seconds loading time is just a ballpark figure but you know, the longer the website loads, the more the user will bounce or not visit the website. So now you know what HTML and Canvas Kit are. Therefore, what renderer should you use for your Flutter web project? Well, if you were to have a web project that has only static pages, such as a landing page or a developer portfolio, where it does not require performance but small size and fast loading time, then using the HTML renderer is recommended. However, if your project has some interactive pages such as internal tools or a design tool like Figma, then I would recommend you to use Canvas Kit Renderer as it has Canvas Kit API that helps boost performance. So you don't want any laggy interactions such as resizing this image. However, if you think that you need a HTML renderer for fast downloading on your mobile platform and fast performance using Canvas Kit on the desktop platform, great news! By default, your web project automatically have these configuration inside your Flutter web project. So now you have a clearer idea which renderer to choose. I will show you a demo on how to use the command line options. So if you were to go to the Flutter documentation and so if you were to go to the Flutter documentation under the web renderers over here, 
you could see the command line options. You have to pass in the command line options, which is the web renderer, and it only takes three values, which is the automatic, HTML, and canvas kit, which I have explained earlier. So in order for you to run or build your web project, these are the different commands. So let's go to your terminal in your VS Code or any IDE. So I have with me here a Flutter developer portfolio that is mobile responsive. I have created a course on how to create this, the link in the description. So let's start with the automatic. If you type in flutter run dash d chrome, it is going to run the default or the automatic renderer. So once it has finished downloading, it will look something like this. So now this is currently in Canvas Kit. And then if I were to make it into a mobile platform, it is now rendering as the HTML renderer. So currently the debug mode is pretty laggy. So you want to run it in profile so that you can see how well it performs. So what you can do is you can type in the flutter run dash d chrome command and then we are going to use the web dash renderer and then we are going to choose the html renderer and then we are going to make it run in the profile mode if you press enter you could see that it launches it inside chrome in profile mode so currently my Flutter developer portfolio, if I were to scroll up and down, it is actually very, very smooth. So we are going to do the same command line. Instead of HTML, we are going to use Canvas Kit. Press enter. And now it has rendered in Canvas Kit. Do you see any difference in terms of the UI for this developer portfolio? As you can see over here, the fonts is a little bit different. And then if I were to like hover over the contact me button, you could see that it is actually very smooth. So once you are satisfied, then what you need to do is you need to build your Flutter web project ready for release mode or for production. So what you can do is you can type in Flutter build web, and then we are going to make it on release mode. And then you can choose which web renderer you want it to render on both the mobile and desktop view. So you can put it as HTML or you can put it as Canvas Kits or you can put it as Auto, but this is the default value for your Flutter web project. So if I were to choose HTML, press enter, then it will build our web project according to our configurations over here. So once it's done, you can release it to any web hosting services like Firebase or GitHub pages. So that's about it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this kind of video, subscribe down below. Isn't it cool that the subscribe is like 58K, which I hopefully can achieve this year. And if you want me to go through any topics, you can comment down below. So that's about it. Stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.